All right, so welcome back to some more MX versus ATV All Out. Today we're going to be checking out Bighorn Freeride area, and this is the second half. Uh, the second half across from Crescent Lakes. Preload this big bad boy right away. Perfect. No preload for this. No preload for this. Take this inside. And then try and carry our speed here. This section is insane. It's so rough. I would say that's probably one of the toughest sections on the track because if you lose your momentum there, it's game over. It's so rough. You get this huge line. Yeah. No preload? Perfect. So the track is kind of similar to how Crescent Lakes was in that if you hit the track and the line's just right, you don't really have to preload except for some of the big, big, big jumps, but for the most part, you don't really need to. And this track, it's similar in how this would be the shorter, I don't know if it's the easier track, but it's the shorter track out of the two. And probably my least favorite out of the two. Now, I love this track, don't get me wrong, but I do prefer the, the one we're gonna look at next over this one. Look how rough it is here, though. You add the AI and the race or multiplayer, this track is going to get insane. Super rough. I mean, just a different feel than Crescent Lakes was. Now, there is also a bunch of other stuff to do. There's actually a track. I think there's a track that goes all, like, all the way around. Kind of all the way around the compound, similar to the UTV track in the, at the goat farm. So we'll check that out too. Haven't actually been on that. I didn't really notice that was there until right now. Kind of see it here to the right and then that's a lap. Oh, short, a little bit. Still don't think we need to preload. Grab that inside again. Try and carry our speed through this. I mean, even trying to preload through that, it is so rough. It's so rough. And this jump is huge. Should be good. Yeah. A little preload. We got a kind of a weird bounce there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, probably should do a warm-up lap on the, uh, the other track. Did a couple warm-up laps here before starting. I always say that in uh, bike games. It, you got to know the track, man. You got to know the track. This section is kind of tough, too, but I really love it. It's They kind of balance it out where the outside's uh, smoother, but or the inside's probably quicker, or the middle line, I guess, but uh, it's really, really rough there. But after the new ground physics update, the the bike soaks it up pretty good. It's not probably as annoying as it might have been had they not updated the game with that. Let's see if we can get this. We can't, we're losing our momentum. And I think that about wraps up a lap here. No preload? Perfect. All right, so we're gonna jump over and see if we can find ourselves that second track. Should be, well, actually, is that it over here? I think it's over here. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, so here we have track number two. This is the west track, and I actually restarted it once already because I rode so many laps on it that the track was getting really, really rough, and a bunch of the lines were getting really hard to hit. So, already restarted one time already. Jumping up the hill here a little bit. We have a step down double into a huge triple. No, quad. It's more of a quad. Got that table in the middle. 
best part of the track is coming up here. This double. And we go into the corner here and then this super sick jump. Super sick here, no preload. Look at this, this thing is insane. Kinda messed that up, you can actually triple, triple I think, or quad double, so a few different ways around that. I'm gonna take the inside here because I never did. It just feels weird because look how slow. It just soaks up all your momentum. I don't feel like that would be a, any case a, a good line to take. Few to, bunch of line choices here, geez. Back into some rough stuff. I mean, the track has so much elevation change. It has so many different line choices. It's so rough. Imagine doing a race with the AR multiplayer. This is gonna get insane. And it feels like a, a motocross track. It feels like a a nasty, rough outdoor track. A few aspects of like, I guess a little bit, a few jumps that kind of feel super cross, but not really. Overall, it's just, it feels like a really rough national. Just barely. Maybe it would help to not be on the 350, I don't really know. But I just love this section. Best track out of all four. Definitely best track. Especially considering it's supposed to be a, a national DLC kind of thing. Jeez. Oh, we kind of got it. That would be the better way. Ooh. But there's a few different choices there. And I mean, there's a bunch of different line choices. There's just not, with a with this kind of national track, there's not like a bunch of different timings because there's not rhythm sections, like a bunch of them, you know what I mean? So there's a bunch, there's a lot of different line choices. Like for instance here, look at this. So you have one on the outside, two, three, four. Four different line choices in that corner. Insane. I don't think you have to preload this. No, just perfect. Nor this. Just perfect. I think that's a finish line. Maybe not, I don't know. And then that's a lap. So yeah, favorite track, it's it's insane, man. I love this track. It's my favorite one out of all four, but uh, yeah, let's go see if we can find some of the other stuff. I think there's supposed to be a Actually, I think this is it. This is a track, I believe, that runs all the way around the compound, but I need to figure out which direction it needs to go. I haven't been on it yet. And then there's a couple other things. Let's see if we can find that. Okay, so here's something we came across in our adventures at Big Horn. It feels like a UTV track. I could be wrong. It looks like you can run it both ways. Doesn't look like it matters, I just prefer this way. But yeah, that's this is this is a thing. Not much to it, but you know, it's something. Let's see if we can figure out. Yeah, I want to go here. We were here earlier. This is pretty sick. We take it easy here. Take it kind of easy here. Double. Oh, come on. Yeah. Perfect. Can we clear this? Yeah. Man, that was a beautiful run. Beautiful run. Kind of let off here and here. Just so we don't over jump. Messed up. Probably could triple that if you hit it just right. Oh. 
tough, man. It's tough. It's like it's it's a kind of a tough timing to figure out. Let's go for one more. This is pretty sick. Okay. Got it. Send it. Oh! I've never done that before. I mean, I haven't been on it much, but that was sick. That was sick. Perfect. What if you can actually run races here? If this is just like a thing in free ride, I'm curious. I don't know. Let's see what else you got. I gotta check the map. Okay, so we have the dunes over here, which we will go to. Similar to like Marble Canyon. But let's go. This is the track that, let's go here. So the track either ends or starts here. So I'm not sure if I'm going the right direction, but we'll find out. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it's one of those that runs. Kind of confusing. I'm not sure if it goes this way. This track, this thing runs around the entire compound. But it might be like the UTV track where it doesn't matter what direction you go really don't know but I mean hold on a second okay see it's confusing because of how it splits here let's move ourselves over here maybe we can tell more to me it looks like it doesn't matter they're very rolled off jumps yeah it looks like you can do this anyway, and I don't know if it's a track or if it's just because it splits so many different ways. But I mean, it's a thing kind of like at the goat farm where it runs around the outside, except it's not, it's kind of a track, but it splits so many different ways. It looks like it doesn't really connect. See, it looks like, yeah, it branches off over here. So there's so many different places you could go with this. Whoa. I guess we're going this way. Go back down. But it connects again. Oh. Actually forces you back this way. Okay. Kind of cool. We came from to the left. So let's go this way came from here see it works both ways where was the branch I missed it okay so let's go up here we've been here let's just kind of keep following it and see where it goes I feel like it'll turn you around if it's somewhere where it doesn't want you to be really It kind of did back there. Okay, so we went that way, we went this way. We're missing something. It's kind of confusing, but it's not really a track. It's more just trails, I guess. Is it branch here? Maybe not. I really don't know. Yeah, here. Then it goes around. I'm sure this will end somewhere. It goes quite a ways this way. There's my checkpoint. Okay, and this is, oh uh, yeah, this is where we started. So I mean, I'm sure I didn't hit everything, but you can kind of see what's going on there. Check these dunes out, man. They're so sharp. Different feel. Definitely have a different feel than Marble Canyon. I mean, it's similar. Oh, that far. Let's head back. Let me get turned around. Okay. Not as big as Marble Canyon, but uh, it's still nice that they have them here. People... 
I know really like Marble Canyon, the dunes, being able to throw huge whips and get some really cool shots off. And this is kind of the same. I haven't really been here yet. I haven't messed around in the dunes. Know where the best dune is. Maybe this one? Yeah, let's start back here. Start back here. Ooh, that was rough. Oh, that was ugly. Yeah, that was really ugly. I don't know, you can kind of get an overview of what it looks like, and then we will head over, let's see. Where is it? I might have to check the map. Go over here. Wait. So we checked out this. This track, this track, middle track. Let's go over here. It's kind of a, uh, I really don't know. Oops. I don't really know what to explain this as, just some rolling hills kind of. Looks weird. I don't know, I prefer the dunes. I mean, this is cool. It's not that I don't mind looking at it and stuff, but if I had to choose, I still prefer the dunes. You can kind of jump from one to the other. Oh wait, I saw a freestyle ramp. We did this in the first video, hardcore. Maybe this is a big send. Or, there it is. Oh, it's a decent send, but it's not, it's, <laughs> it doesn't feel as big as the one that was in uh, Crescent Valley. Yeah, actually you can get some pretty good air off this. Maybe we'll have to, well, I don't know. The video's probably getting pretty long. I think we covered most everything here at Big Horn. Most everything. Let me check here yet. Like I'm pretty sure, well, hold on. Pretty sure that's the boundary. Yeah, it's the boundary. Okay, we're in these dunes. Wait. There's something there. Oh. It's not a very big one, though. I was hoping to find some huge placement of a ramp. Oh. Why? This is weird. VP gas. Oh no! It's playing music! No! I probably cut that out. That's the same thing as uh, Crescent Lakes. In Crescent Lakes, uh, the, the boat, the raft out in the water was playing music, which is the sole reason of why he didn't go buy it. That thing was playing music! I bet I cut the audio out there. Dude, I'm serious. Copyright or match third party content, whatever you want to call it, is annoying. It's annoying. So any music, I'm scared of. But uh, yeah, let me check the map one more time. Make sure we're not missing something weird back here. I'm sure there's some other little stuff that we're not getting, but most, most, most of it I think we got. So you kind of get a, an overview of Bighorn, and I'd say the free ride area of Crescent Lakes is still my favorite, but the last track we did for Bighorn was insane, and that is my favorite track in this National Motocross DLC. It's insane. It's absolutely sick, so... Yeah, there you go. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. And until the next video, take it easy.